What is going on guys? This is Spade with YT Gamers and in this episode of YT Tips we're actually going to show you how to set up a live stream on Twitch using Open Broadcaster. Stay tuned after the intro to see how we do that. This is going to be an updated version of a previous video that I did record. So it'll have all the newer features of OBS included in it. As you see, I already have everything put into mine, which I'm not going to delete because some of the stuff I've already deleted and it's still saved in my OBS folder. But we'll still be able to get everything through here. Whenever you first open OBS, like if you've never used it before at all, you're actually just going to see where it says scene and then all this will be blank. So let's just create a new scene here. And hit right click, add scene. And we'll just put uh, YT tips and hit OK. And you can see this is entirely empty. So, what you want to do, like if you're actually wanting to say put your PlayStation or whatever uh, to show up your capture card or anything else. So, depending on how you, I have mine set up as global sources. This way, whenever you switch in between them, they don't lag and doesn't drop frames or anything like that. So what you, but what most people do, they'll just go to add a video capture device. I typically title them like Xbox or whatever, but we'll just leave it as video capture device. And let's do Aver Media here. Let me turn my Xbox on. We'll turn this on so that way it'll show up. Hopefully, there we go. We'll just hit the. Aver Media here, we'll set it to 1280 by 720. And disable device audio. Use device audio. There we go. Okay. And see now if your preview stream has the Xbox video on it. <clears throat> and that's, I guess that's the simple way of how to at least load your stuff. Now if you wanted to load your overlays in it or something else, you would just do, do the same thing. So if you're trying to load a uh, webcam you would go to video capture device and then look for your webcam see how this is logitech hd pro webcam i'm not going to turn it on because i kind of look like shit today but you would just pick your webcam in this list and then resize it accordingly so we'll just hit cancel on that so say if you wanted to resize this to fit it to scale you would just highlight the one you want to resize and hit edit scene it'll stay actually blue it'll stay blue even when you're not over it and then you could actually resize this however you wanted and position it any way you want it and then if you just want it to take up the full screen you would just go to position right click on it go to position and size fit the screen simple enough overlays are the same thing so it's like say if you wanted to add an overlay you would just go right click and then choose add image and then we'll just, I should have one here somewhere. I have plenty of overlays just laying around. Finding one is a totally different story. I have a lot of pictures, so if you see something really random, I apologize. <laughs> Where is my overlays? So we'll just do without cam. And then you want to fit screen, so you would right click, position size, fit screen, and there's an overlay. Really simple. Once you have everything put together and already done, it's an extremely simple process of loading it all together. So this is just getting your images. Okay, so now the next part would actually be setting up the stream itself. So you would go to settings. In general, I have this set for recording right now because I'm recording. But you could actually title this. So you could actually type this and then choose add and it'll save that preset and then create another untitled that you can title for something else like recording twitch hitbox anything else yeah i divide it by what i'm streaming on so i have one for twitch i have one for uh if i'm streaming to twitch playing pc games if i have one for hitbox i make one for hitbox and so on and for those of you that don't know yt gamers is actually partnered with hitbox so any any person that is a part of yt gamers that streams on hitbox you automatically can get partnered and get a subscribe button there. I personally, I just choose to stay with Twitch just because of the viewers that I get. I've built that base there, so I'm gonna stay there. So, with that said, this is just your general tab. So we'll go to encoding. I leave mine at X, X264, and Twitch, 
mandatory you have to have CBR because they they change their stuff to where you have to have the constant bit rate. I leave my quality at 10 because if you uncheck constant bit rate or CBR you can actually change it. I leave it at 10 and then, and then just recheck CBR. The typical bit rate that I actually stream at is not this. This is a recording bit rate. But what I stream at, depending on your upload speed, if you have any, say, upwards of 5 uh, megabits upload, I would recommend two and a half or 2,500. So you would put 2,500 in here to actually, that would be your stream. And it wouldn't look bad, it wouldn't look the best, but it wouldn't look bad by any means. If you have something along the lines of 10, 10 megabits upload, I would recommend half that. I would, I would say like 3,500 to 5,000. But whenever you're getting into 3,500 to 5,000 bit rate, Twitch can actually cap you and make your stream look worse than if you actually just kept it at like 3,000. But at the same time, the, once you get over 3,000 uh, kilobits per second in your bit rate for streaming, what's going to happen is you're limiting the people that can actually view your stream. So you don't want to alienate those viewers. So I recommend trying to keep it around 2,500. That way you are able to keep the views. So I do not mess with this at all. Uh, the audio encoders, I'll leave those alone. Uh, don't apply changes. And then broadcast settings. This is where you would actually like change it to live stream or file output. I actually have mine set to, this is set to file output, but let's change this. We'll switch this to Twitch. We'll just move it to Twitch real quick and go to settings. And then broadcast settings. See, it's set to live stream. And then I have I pick Twitch. You have many lists. You can actually enter custom uh, pathways if you want. But there's Twitch, uh, Vaughn, Instagive, Good Game, Daily Motion, YouTube, Cyber Game, Hitbox, Connectcast, and Azubu. Uh, but either way, I just stick to Twitch. And then I actually have my server set different because I'm in Dallas, Texas, and I have no shame telling people where I'm from. I'm not worried. But I'm in Dallas, Texas, and uh, Dallas, Texas is actually pretty big when it comes to gaming and streaming, and servers get overloaded here really bad, which can cause issues with frame dropping and stuff. So I just use the Ashburn, Virginia uh, server because not a lot of people seem to stream through that, and it helps me out a whole lot. And then next, what you're going to need is your stream key. I will show you where to get that, but I'm not going to show you mine, but I'll show you where to get it. So you would just pull up your Twitch page. I'm just at the main Twitch landing page right now. So what you would do, you want to log in, go to your dashboard. Let's wait on that to load. And then there's going to be a, a tab right here that says stream key. So you would just click that. And what you would do, it's where it says show key, you're going to click that right there. And it's going to show you a sequence of numbers and letters. And you want to copy that entire sequence of numbers and letters and put them into this, wind, into this box. And that's going to be your stream key. That's what you use. I have auto reconnect set to on. That way if something happens and you drop, it'll automatically reconnect after 10 seconds. Everything else I'll leave alone. You can actually set to where you can save your streams while you're streaming to where it'll automatically record them to a separate hard drive. That way if you want to go through them, you can. And that's where you would do this. You would just browse the folder locations if you wanted to do it that way. Now let's go to video. This is where you set the, the actual resolution for your screen. Or stream, sorry, I said screen. I stream at 1280 by 720, 60 FPS, depending on the game. Console games, I always stream at 60 FPS, 1280 by 720. Even PC games, I stream at 1280 by 720 at 30 FPS. And that's just to alleviate some of the stress from my processor. I can stream in 1920 by 1080 and get it looking super pretty if I wanted, but I like my processor free because 1280 by 720 at 60 FPS still looks good. And that's where I have it. So you manually type this in and then you can type 60 FPS or if you wanted to keep it at 1920 by 1080 you could actually resolution downscale to 1280 by 720 but then you're having to mess with other other features that I particularly do not do. And then your audio settings this is going to be your audio tab. I have my desktop audio device set to default 
so whatever I have sound playing through it will pick it up so like right now it's set to my speakers my desktop speakers but if I disable my desktop speakers and have it playing through a USB headset it'll pick that up as well without me having to change anything specifically now I have my mic set to my microphone that is plugged in through my mic port in the back you really want to set this up otherwise you're not going to get any kind of mic output whatsoever uh, this is all default setup I don't use any of that I don't use push to talk or anything like that I have nothing programmed for that I the only hotkeys I have are for starting and stopping the stream now under advanced tabs I have the general section I did not change I did not alter at all under video my preset is very fast encoding profile is main that's another twitch requirement you need to have it set to main uh, with keyframe interval of two with uh, CFR constant frame rate and then that is all I have checked here quick sync is a if you use an Nvidia graphics card you can use quick sync or something I'm not sure it could be an Intel thing I think it's Intel based Intel processor race I haven't figured out how to use it it's it's a monitor duplicating thing and I don't mess with it personally I've never used this there's someone else that could teach you far better than I and then the scene switchers and everything else where you can actually set a hotkey to change your scene uh, I have not used this but I probably will start in the future that way I don't got to keep clicking uh, the actual scene itself but other than that that's it guys that's how you set up your stream through all the tabs I've walked you through it as easily as I could and if you have any more questions feel free if you guys want to see my stream quality I'll I'll leave you some twitch links uh, in the description of this video that way you can actually check it out and see the quality of my streams uh, also, if you wanted to stop by the streams yourselves and check it out when it's live, uh, the link for that will also be in the description as well. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.